We're back! The Shantae! Wear some fucking clothes! You fucking degenerate. <laughs> just fucking like the ladies that you see in downtown that are just like wearing like pajama pants. F yeah, job, Shantae. Calm down. I wore pajamas to college. <laughs> yeah, because you're. Oh, I'm not insulting. So much. World's clear. Well, if I'm saying too much, how about you put a fing sensor? Okay! <laughs> That'll be a sensor. Or like the dolphin noise from Spongebob. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy. Man, you are just skipping all this text. What if our viewers want to read? Well, I will support WayForward by saying if you want to learn more about Shantae's pajama adventure, get Shantae Half-G Hero available on all systems. Pajamas sold separately. Do you think Shantae's the type of girl that would sell her own bathwater? Who started that? Who I forget the name off the top of my head. Some like, you know, hashtag gamer girl on Instagram who's like, hey, uh, lonely guys will buy my bathwater. Why? Would you buy Shantae's bath water, hun? No. But she's half a genie, so it's magical. It could grant you wishes. Whose bath water would you buy? Uh, no one's. Same. Whose bath water would you drink? Like, if I was forced to drink it? it? If it was the only, like, way of survival, you, and you had to choose from, like, like, different characters, like, bath water just to survive, just to, like, drink some water, you know? Like, or suffer dehydration to the point of death. Like, which character's bath water would you drink from? Huh. Now I'm having to think, like, who would be delicious enough to produce mouth-watering bath water? <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, you're already, like, pretty much dehydrated. You, you need this to survive. If you don't drink it within, like, five minutes, you're gonna go unconscious and then just go deep, and then you'll just die of dehydration. So you have to think fast. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would say, uh, Judge Fudge, but he's just too busy being delicious. That's an old Drawn Together reference, if anyone remembers that show. There you go. Alright, what about you? Mm. Princess Bubblegum. I mean, gross, but go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I best- I bet it'll just taste like... Like, watered-down bubblegum taste. Yeah, but do you really want to drink some that had pussy in it? I mean, hey, if it tastes like bubblegum... Do they still, like, make bubblegum flavored, like, mess and shit anymore? I... I would hope so. I mean, I would hope that cough medicine would, like... Would, like, be a thing. With bubblegum. Does anyone remember, like... Like, did anyone ever have to, um... What's it called? Like, when the dentist... Drink someone's bath water? Did you ever drink your own bath water? Because I probably did as a kid. 
But yeah. Um. I died. This part gave me kind of a. Has anyone ever had banana flavored dentists? Um, what's it called? Like when they want to give you like a cavity thing? No, no, like strengthen your teeth. Oh, like, like the cleaning. Not, not cleaning, but like, like, yes, when you're doing a cleaning, but it's all the way at the end, and you can't eat anything for like an hour or something because you you had that stuff in your mouth that strengthens your enamel or something. Yeah. Um. Like that stuff. It tasted like ban it, it was supposed to taste like banana, but it didn't. Well, <laughs> here's a fun fact about a random trivia fact. Okay. About like uh, banana artificial flavoring, pretty much when you taste like a banana popsicle or some that's like an artificial banana flavor, it's actually replicating a flavor of an extinct version of bananas. But why? I don't know. Just cause. It sounds like you just got a clickbait ad type of an article. No, no, it's a legit thing. Uh huh. Like, there's literally a type of banana that's extinct, but whenever there's artificial banana flavors, it tastes like that rather than actual bananas. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll look up an article and screenshot it for the viewers, the mixers, the snackers. Well, I have the knowledge of a Snapple bottle cap. You have a Snapple bottle cap. God, Haas, fuck. Why does summer have to exist? I mean, at least we're just in Boston. It's not like it's, um... What is it? Arizona. Where the odd one's out. Um, lives, you know? Where legit their normal temperature in their houses is like 80 degrees. According to my friend, um, Roy. Where it's like our friend Roy Lacroix. Yeah. Well, in Boston, it's just like we like it at a good sixty, maybe seventy, but eighty—that that's when you start sweating, sweating bullets. I would like hate to live in like a southern state, and not just for the racists, but for like the fucking. Planet. Yeah. I mean, just look at them, they're exploding. We don't want to explode like them. Those crap racists. 